Not all those so-called timeless hairstyles last forever. After all, just as our bodies age, so too does our hair. But don't worry, we have the power to adapt to our changing looks. We've tapped the experts to reveal the hairstyles for older women that are going out of style fast, so you will be on trend for life. If you've always had very long hair, it can be hard to picture yourself with a shorter style as an older woman. My mom likes ponytails, I found out. <laughs> 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 Nevertheless, many women begin considering a big chop when they're in their mid-40s. According to anti-aging brand Nurture Replenish, a poll of 2,000 women over the age of 40 found that age 46 was the, quote, watershed year for many women. And it makes sense why more and more older women are considering ditching their long locks. John Blue, hairstylist and owner of Boss Hair Group in Chicago, says of longer hairstyles, "...they tend to drag you down and age you well beyond your years." While some women might think long hair keeps them looking young, Blue says that's just not true, adding, "...in most cases, it's very unflattering. Hair tends to weaken and get brittle and more sparse as we age, so it's best to keep it shorter, freshly cut, and sharp-looking." In addition to ditching extremely long cuts, these days fewer women are opting for lengthy layers. Natural hair expert and founder of Haya Cosmetics, Daris Peace, revealed that long hair with layers can have a similar effect on the face. He says, "...as we age, everything about bodies and faces start to descend. Longer, hanging hair exaggerates bags under eyes and magnifies lines and wrinkles." The standard of beauty is you. Instead, shorter styles make your hair look fuller. If you have mid-length hair, there's no reason to sacrifice overall length. Simply adding in shorter layers can freshen up your hairstyle. Need some celebrity inspiration? Blythe Danner rocks an extremely flattering textured lob. And those layers perfectly complement the actress's features. You don't need all that. It's right the way you are. In an attempt to cover those grays, dark-haired women have relied on even deeper dyes for decades. The result, however, is an unnatural-looking color nicknamed shoe polish by experts. Master colorist Louis Lacari explained to Allure, "...it can look opaque, which can showcase grays and regrowth. It will also zap life and color from your face." Thankfully, it looks like this hairstyle just might be hanging by a thread. In place of pitch black hair, Lakari recommends requesting a single process color with highlights, thereby going one shade lighter. The best thing about highlights is that you do not have to color your hair frequently. If you prefer a boxed dye, Negan Zand, colorist at Salon Benjamin in West Hollywood, California, advises going even lighter. She told Allure, "...buy a box that's one shade lighter than the color you desire." Although it used to basically be the one socially acceptable thing to do, completely covering your grays is falling out of fashion. And if you're sick of touching up your roots, this is pretty much the best news ever. Tanya Reed, hairstylist and owner of T. Reed & Company in Charlotte, North Carolina, says she thinks more women will be rocking those grays in 2020. And Jamie DeGrazia, award-winning hairstylist and owner of Logan Parlor in Chicago, noted that coloring over grays is already not as popular as it once was. She says, it's becoming more and more acceptable for women to wear their natural gray hair. There are a variety of hair care products to keep the wiry texture at bay and keep the tone brilliant. Color glosses and rinses can blend the silver tones instead of using a monochromatic dark tone for full coverage. I can see where I am going, um, and it's beautiful. Frustrated with thinning or damaged hair, many older women, like Dolly Parton, have turned to wigs. Why not just wear wigs? Exactly. That way I never have a bad hair day. <laughs> It's not a new trend, but wigs have certainly changed over the years. Wig guru Shay Oshual told Vogue that it was Beyonce who actually helped propel wigs into the mainstream, claiming, "...she made it okay to wear wigs openly and created a demand for lace front wigs, which are more realistic, better quality, that were normally only available in the film and theater industries. Wig companies saw this as an opportunity to up their game and make it into the mainstream." With better options on the market, those poor-quality synthetic wigs older women used to wear are going out of style, fast. Darius Peace says the reason synthetic bob wigs in particular are trending out is, "...the amount of luster that we see with them looks inauthentic and cheap. The luster in the hair looks plastic and doesn't really accurately mimic the luster of human hair." Peace instead recommends going for a custom-bobbed wig made of real human hair. 
Cy South, hairstylist, self-professed huge hair nerd, and artistic designer at Main Attraction Salon in Phoenix, Arizona, says that women tend to get comfortable with their hair, maybe even getting the same cut they had way back in high school. As hairstyles and trends change, though, South says it's imperative to stay up to date. That means it's officially time to give up those helmet-shaped do's. I hope this doesn't give me helmet hair. Instead, the hair guru recommends trying something a tad trendier, like what she calls soft waves, narrower silhouettes, or an airy texture. No matter the haircut you're considering, South advises consulting your hairstylist for their opinion. And don't worry about a new style being age-appropriate. As long as it flatters your face and your personality, you're golden. Shorter hair is the way to go to combat the effects of thinning and weakening hair. Birdie reports, Shorter hair is stronger than longer strands, so even very fine hair can benefit from a super short cropped cut. Let's get my hair back. We need it out of, out of the way. In addition to actually being stronger than a long hairstyle, pixies give off the illusion that your hair is thicker than it really is. Even so, buzzed or extremely short styles for older women are on their way out. According to Dina Von Yokes, master stylist, colorist, and owner of Studio Savvy Salon in Rancho Santa Fe, California. Of course, one trend doesn't go away without another one taking its place. Thankfully, a newer style, the soft pixie, is what Von Yokes describes as less precise cuts that create a softer, more blended look with layers. Michael Sparks, hairstylist and co-founder of Tab & Sparks Salon in Santa Monica, California, says traditional, shorter cuts are also trending out. He says older women have started opting for, quote, length with bits of shorter hair to frame the face. For inspiration, think Julianne Moore. Biggest bites. Wine. <laughs> the Evening Standard reported of the actress, in person, the first thing you notice about 58-year-old Julianne Moore are those cheekbones, which you could legitimately grate Parmesan off of. Of course, that's not entirely due to her haircut, but it helps. Hanson Liu, a hairstylist at Marie Robinson Salon in New York City, confirmed to Refinery29, a haircut can definitely not only affect a person's face, but also enhance a person's bone structure. For older women, feathered bangs are, well, going out with a bang, according to Cy South. But that doesn't mean some styles of bangs can't make the cut. Master stylist Ruth Roach explained that longer, wispier bangs can look stunning on older women, adding, have them trimmed often rather than cutting them shorter so they last longer. Fringes that are too short can look utilitarian and boring. You'll also want to consider how bangs can completely change up your look, for better or for worse. I just changed my look in 15 seconds. Celeb stylist Mitch Stone noted, Bangs can make you look really young and sexy or make your nose or forehead look twice the size. It's important to make sure you trust your hairstylist before going for it. Speaking of bangs, the blunt bang trend is nearing its end, if you ask Dina Von Yokes. While straight across bangs may work on fashion mogul Anna Winter, that's certainly not the case for every woman. And it's not just age that becomes a factor when determining if this hairstyle is right for you. There is always a time when you know you have to break the rules. Samantha Stonehouse, senior stylist at Toronto-based Cowlick Salon, told Chatelaine, Square face shapes should avoid harder, blunt-looking fringe. Go for softer, wispier fringe that's longer around the temples or a side-swept look. A longer curtain bang or side-swept fringe can last a long time, more like six to eight weeks to maintain the style. Although perms have started to make their way back in as a trend for younger women, mature women have been ditching the style. Hold on, girl. Somebody just called me. Quinta. What's that? Who's there? It's me. Perm box? Yeah, that's right. Cy South says older women are moving away from perms, especially that notorious poodle perm. With natural gray hair becoming more popular among mature women, it only makes sense that perms are dying out. But if you don't want to give up your beloved perm, mix it up with a fresh, modernized version like the Texture Wave. Michonne Kessler, stylist at Studio M Salon in Reno, Nevada, told Today, Unlike the perms of the 80s, these texture-creating waves are done on much larger rods and use gentler chemicals. But as always, you'll want to consult your hairstylist to make sure your hair is strong enough to handle this type of process. From classic sleek bobs to lobs with subtle layers, there are a number of cuts that look absolutely perfect on older women. Sam Burnett, hairstylist and owner of Hair & Bone Salon, told Birdie, Shoulder skimming styles are super flattering as they graze the décolletage and gently frame the face. It's also worth flagging that thinning hair, especially in younger women, is on the rise. And lobs are one of the best ways to create the illusion of thicker, fuller hair, which is incredibly youth-boosting. 
Burnett has a special fondness for the modern bob, adding, It has a defined outline that sits around the jawline, framing your face and directing the eyes towards your best features. However, some mature women are starting to forego one particular bob, according to master stylist Dina Von Yokes. She says bobs that are, quote, too severe and draw a harsh line on the face is a style many older women are looking to avoid. While carefully cut layers can be useful for camouflaging thinner hair, hairstylist and advanced designer at Salon Ava Michelle, Bryant Anthony, says he's seeing fewer and fewer older women opting for short, choppy layers. Instead, clients are choosing longer styles with longer bangs. But that doesn't mean you have to pass on the layers completely. They can still serve a great purpose. Gina Rivera, stylist and founder of Phoenix Salon Suites, advises, Layers can serve to soften features by adding volume and movement. The key is to go for subtle layering as opposed to choppy locks, especially if you're going for a more blunt style bob. Celebrity hairstylist Matt Fugit explained to Allure, If it's too layered, it'll be overwhelming. The cut should be slightly shorter in the back than it is in the front because of how much density you naturally have in the back of your hair. Perhaps in an attempt to disguise signs of aging, face covering looks were once the go-to styles of choice for mature hair. As of 2020, though, that trend has already been kicked to the curb. Gareth Ward says more and more women are, quote, keeping their hair off their face and showing off their face shape. If you like to wear your hair a bit longer, you can pull off this look with a braid or a ponytail. However, stylist Gina Rivera doesn't advise pulling your hair back too tightly. The expert recommended that the style be worn more loosely as you get older, adding, Pulling out soft strands of hair around the face can generate a gorgeous look, especially with the right hair accessory. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite fashion trends are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.